Hi everyone. I have a new roommate. Frankie. I got a dog. And her name is Frankie. Frankie. Hey, say hey to the fella. Say what's up fella. She just ate her lunch. How was it Frankie? Bussing? So hungry you want more? Cause you're sniffing the ground? Or you're gonna pee on the floor? <laughs> this is Frankie everyone. She is a terrier blend. I think she might be blended with a cattle dog. I don't really know for sure yet. She's actually my dog. Um, a lot of people didn't believe me, but like I've had her for a week now, a little over a week, like a week and a half. And she's like actually the best puppy ever. <laughs> she's very nice. She's a lot of energy. <laughs> As you can see, just like her mommy, but she's very well behaved. Oh, she's so cute. Thumbnail, Frankie. <laughs> Ready, look cute, look cute for mommy. She just wants to play with me. I got Frankie from a shelter called Helen Woodward. And a lot of people may be like, when slash why did you get a dog? I know it's like literally so random and I gave no warning, but honestly like getting a dog, I just thought now was a really good time because I mean, I live alone. I have like a decent enough space. I'm very active right at the moment. I'm like, at least for the last month, haven't really been able to work out. So I just have a lot of like free time and stuff. I mean, I always have a lot of free time because I'm self-employed, but I don't have that much on my calendar for like the next couple months. And I just knew that now would be a really good time to like get a puppy so that I can train them for the next couple months because I'm just not really like busy or have that many plans, especially now that like haven't been able to run or work out. So yeah, I just decided to get a dog. And that's like, sounds really impulsive, but I've actually been thinking about getting a dog for a while. So it's not really that impulsive. Yeah, I went to the shelter and I was like, all right, let's look around. And she was the first one I saw and she just had so much energy. My mom literally cried when she saw her for the first time. Her name was Brittany in the shelter. And I was like, okay, that's an immediate name change. I don't even really like know what to say. What else do I talk about with my puppy? Well, she's already learned sit down and stay and shake. She's 12 weeks old now. Yeah, she's already got her next round of shots and stuff. Like she didn't cry when she got her shots. She has a lot of energy. I know that she has a lot of energy and I just feel bad for her right now because like because she's getting her shots, she can't go to like the dog park or anything because she's not fully vaccinated and it's not safe. So she can't like walk on a leash. So I've been playing fetch with her in my apartment and stuff and like taking her on walks in my arms. But then I get tired because she's like kind of heavy. So I'm excited to like take her to dog parks and stuff because she's like going to love playing fetch and everything. Is getting a dog a ton of responsibility? Yes, 100%. I already knew that though, like I've had many roommates and friends who've gotten dogs, so it's like I knew what to expect. My parents love dogs. I've grown up with dogs, I like know what it takes, you know? And I just know that this, I don't know, first part of getting a dog is so important to like train them well because then it just becomes a disaster down the road if you don't train them well. So that's like what my main focus is and stuff. Yeah, but honestly, like so far so great. She's met a lot of my friends, she's met some other dogs. Yeah, she's peed in the house like a couple times, but you know, she's just getting the hang of the potty training and stuff. I have a bell on my door. She's just been really good. I'm crate training her. She doesn't cry really in the crate. At, she doesn't cry in the crate at all at night. You know, when I leave a little bit, she cries, but like that's, I feel like it's normal and I'm only gone for like an hour at a time. So yeah, I spent a lot of time at home over the last week, which makes sense. I've been posting a lot about her on Instagram and stuff. And everyone asked how I named her. I don't really know. Like I was just kind of looking at a name sheet the first day and then the name Frankie came up and I was like, I like that one. So we're gonna pick Frankie. And then I also realized that like, maybe that's like after Frank Ocean, you know, maybe that's why I liked it so much is because my girl Frankie is now uh, named after my favorite musician. So how does that feel Frankie? Named after Frank Ocean. You don't care. You're just eating your chew. That's my like, huge life update. Massive life update, I feel like. Because I just added another addition to my family and became a single mom, so. I don't really watch like dog content on the internet. Like, what do people want to know? Yeah, Terrier Blend, 12 weeks old. She's been spayed. She's gonna be like 30 or 40 pounds. Like my apartment's not very big. So I was like, there's no chance I'm getting like a large dog because I'm a large human. So if I got a large dog, like this apartment's too small for a large dog. So she'll be like the perfect little medium sized dog. And she will just have so much energy, which will be so nice because I really, really want her to be able to run with me at least like three or four miles. And I feel like she will be able to because she just has a lot of energy. She'll be able to keep up with my active lifestyle. You know what I mean? Other life updates. What are my other life updates? Oh, injury. Okay. La, 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 la.
So I've been going and getting PT done. I did acupuncture. I didn't end up vlogging that day because I was just like, I don't know, I was kind of tired after filming that video. Um, so I didn't film my acupuncture, but I got it and it really helped. I am now pain-free walking. Thank a goodness. I like feel like it's almost completely gone, which is so nice because even swimming was hurting it that other week. So I feel like I'm on the other side of it now. I got on the spin bike two days ago and it didn't hurt at all. Things are looking up. You know, I feel like I've had a little bit of a lull this month. Uh, I kinda like went into a little bit of a depressive episode, which is, that's like kind of uncharacteristic for the last year of my life. I feel like I haven't really had any like sort of a uh, depressive episode, but for some reason I was just kind of like down this last month. I think, I mean, not being able to exercise definitely has something to do with it, obviously, because like then I don't have the endorphins every day. I just like really want to get back to running like ASAP because I missed it. I miss like the social aspect that I have here. I just, <laughs> I just miss like being able to work out. Well, now I can't work out, but miss being able to run specifically. Moving forward, like what have I learned from this entire last month? Um, I probably will incorporate a lot more cross training into my routine. Like, I think this could have happened at any point over the last couple years to me if I was like just running and like my other little stints of exercise. But I think because in the past I've done a lot of like biking, I think, and I still got pretty fit. I think I just need to incorporate way more biking and stuff rather than just running six days a week. I think it's just too hard on my body at this time. Like, I don't know. It's unfortunate because I like don't want to have to cross train all the time. But again, being smart, continuing doing my little exercise and just like not wearing myself down because over the last training block I feel like I felt good for you know probably five weeks of it and then I just started feeling like absolute doo-doo and I could tell I was running myself into the ground but I thought it was just kind of like a a hurdle I had to get over like it was like oh I'm just fatigued from training a lot and stuff again but I think I was just like tearing my body down and I think I really should have just done way more cross training rather than trying to run like 45 miles a week I probably should run like 30 miles a week max and then just do the rest cross training and like run four times a week rather than six I mean it's just a learning lesson like it's not the end of the world I do feel extremely out of shape which is unfortunate but it's nothing you can't recover from you know okay thank you Oh, you tearing up my couch? You wanna say hi to the camera? She's like, what is that? Mommy, why are you talking to the camera? <laughs> All right, um, I'm gonna go take care of my dog. I'm probably gonna take her on a little bit of a walk. Yeah, just wanted a little bit of an update video for you guys. My life's been like, quite boring, especially over the last like week and a half because I've literally, all I've been doing is taking care of my little paparuni and have just begun exercising again. So we'll see where this takes us. I hope you guys enjoyed this little update and I post like every day on Instagram. So if you really wanna see what I'm doing, then you can go follow me on Instagram because that like really gives you the full scoop of what my days look like. But if you just like the little updates and you know, little vlogs here and there, then you can stay, stay on that YouTube grind. Right Frankie? Like and subscribe. She's busy. Frankie, say bye. Bye, fellas. Bye, fellas. She's like, Mom, put me down. I want to play with my chew toys.